Hi, I'm Divya. Today I'm going to show you a very simple activity for the babies and the toddlers under two. The activity is how to make a sensory bag. Playing with sensory bag will particularly help the little children's sense of sight and touch. Come on, let's begin. For making sensory bag, we need clear Ziploc bags or sandwich bags, hair gel. I'm using clear hair gel. If you want, you can use colored gel or add a few drops of food color to the clear gel. And a range of small objects of different texture. Here I have some buttons, pebbles, beads, some old items I found at home and some pom-poms. We also need masking tape to tape the sensory bag down. To make one sensory bag, we need two Ziploc bags. First, let's fill the bag with small items. I'm adding a few pom-poms, a couple of beads, some odd items I found at home, such as a Hello Kitty pendant, some pebbles, and a few buttons. You can see these items are of different texture and size. Next, add a few spoons full of hair gel in the bag. Seal the bag and gently press to spread the hair gel. You may add any small objects such as googly eyes or small pieces of drinking straw, etc. If you have all the children, include them in this process of making the sensory bag. I like to use clear gel because when it is clear, children can see all small objects in the bag and they can aim to touch and poke these items. If there is extra air in the bag, just open it, expel the air and seal the bag once again. I'm going to put this bag inside another bag. This is how we double secure the bag to avoid any leakage or objects poking out and becoming a hazard for the little children. Now our sensory bag is ready to be taped down. I want to quickly show you how to make a dry sensory bag in case you don't want to use hair gel or you can make it along with your hair gel bags. I took a variety of lentils here. You can take rice, pasta, dry leaves, etc. Just like how we made the hair gel bag, you can put lentils in the bag. You can also add pom-poms or googly eyes that can attract your baby's attention. Now seal the bag and double secure it. Don't forget to remove extra air in the bag. Playing with a dry sensory bag will also help little children to develop their sense of hearing along with their sense of sight and touch. Any sensory play will help your child to think, explore and figure things out to understand the world around them. Now, all our sensory bags are ready to be fixed on a surface. I made two bags with hair gel and one dry sensory bag. You can fix the sensory bags on the floor, on a glass window or on a wall at your child's level. I would suggest if your baby is beginning to crawl or enjoys tummy time, fix it on the floor. For all others, you can try fixing it on different surfaces. To fix the bags, push all small objects towards the center of the bag and tape all four sides down using masking tape or duct tape, just like this.
Your child can explore sensory bags with both their hands and feet if it is fixed on the floor. They would love to stand on or walk over the bags and experience the squishy texture of hair gel or bumpy lentils. Here I fix the bags on the wall. As you can hear, the dry sensory bag is louder than the others when children play with it. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.